Hi folks, John with the Wingman 115 channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm out here in my backwoods playground, messing around out here, learning some primitive living skills, playing around with my bows and stuff like that. And I thought I would share an item with you that I take with me into the woods all the time. And you're probably gonna ask yourself, John, why, what are you doing bringing a power bank out into the woods? Well, a lot of us now are pretty much, I don't wanna say like life dependent on these cell phones, but mobile phones now have become a huge part of our life. A lot of times I'm out here, one, the iPhone just takes awesome video and photos. So a lot of times I'm Instagramming stuff with my iPhone, but when I'm out here, especially out in the back country of San Diego County, the phone is always searching for a cell signal. So unless I put it in airplane mode, these iPhones just burn through just energy fast. So hence why I always bring a power bank out. Now, the folks from OutXE were nice enough to send this to me. I'd done a review for them in the past. I like their products and I like the affordability of their products. So they were nice enough to send one out this is a 10,000 milliamp solar power bank. We're gonna cut away, we're gonna do some specs rundown, and then we're gonna talk about this a little bit. So, come along and join me. Hey, it's power banks, iPhones, and the woods. Doesn't get any crazier than this, folks. It starts now. Here's some of the specs on the OutXE 10,000 milliamp power bank. First, let's talk about the battery type. It is a lithium polymer battery. That's pretty much the standard across the industry now in all the power banks. The input, it has a micro USB input, which is DC five volts, two amps max. Solar charging, it's five volts, 360 milliamp, and it's 1.8 watt maximum. Output, you have DC five volt, three amp max, with um, basically a max 2.4 amp per port and it supports smart charging. So what smart charging is, it'll automatically shut off when your device is fully charged or if you are recharging this power bank, it'll automatically shut off when it's fully charged. That's very important, especially with these lithium polymer batteries. Just don't want them getting hot and then you're gonna have all sorts of problems with those. Uh, the dimensions on the unit is 5.9 inches long, 3.4 inches wide, and 0.8 inches thick, and it weighs 11.6 ounces. This unit does have a waterproof feature. It's recommended to have the waterproof lid closed when not in use, protecting the IP67 waterproof and dustproof features. Now, let's talk about the solar charger. The solar charger, it takes about 40 to 100 hours to make a full charge via the solar panel as limited by solar panel size and panel conversion rate. It's highly recommended to charge this power bank by wall charging and then if you're gonna use the solar panel for emergency use only. Now for some final thoughts on the OutXE 10,000 milliamp power bank. First off, we're gonna do a little bit of thorns and roses, the good and the bad. I'm gonna start out with the bad. First off, I do not like the solar panel. I'm sorry, OutXE, if your feelings get hurt, but if something takes 40 to 100 hours, that's not realistic to me. If I'm out here and I'm using the gear and something happens where, God forbid, I'm stranded and I'm relying on this to recharge. I don't have 40 to 100 hours to top this off. I would rather see you take this off and reinvest whatever cost that was put in on the solar panel back into the unit for R&D, your engineering, all your skunk work, stuff that goes on to make the product better. That's just my humble opinion on that. Two is the flashlight. I love the flashlight but I would 86 the SOS mode. And a lot of people are gonna go, well, you know, I need the SOS mode and such. I guarantee that we could go out in a boat and turn the SOS mode on and 
you'd have 100 people on the beach and probably maybe if you're lucky, one person would know that that's a distress signal. They don't teach it in scouts anymore. They don't teach it anywhere anymore unless you're learning it off YouTube or from some old signal man in the Navy. You're just not going to, you're not going to need it. It's useless. So I would also take that feature and maybe put it into another setting where you have either turbo, high, medium, and maybe a firefly mode on the LED flashlight. I love the light, puts out some good light, but I would 86 the SOS mode. Now for some positive stuff, the roses. First off, 10,000 milliamps, so you're gonna get a couple charges uh, on your Galaxy phone with it. You're gonna get three or four charges out of your iPhone. It's gonna depend on which iPhone that you use. I've been using the iPhone 10. I've been getting about four charges out of it. Now, I've been using this for about a month and it just drives manufacturers crazy because when they send you a product, they want you to just turn around, do a review, get it up, and that's not the way that I do it on the channel. When something comes to me, it's gonna take a week or two. I gotta play around with it. I gotta learn the specs. I gotta learn the features. And I've been using it pretty much to charge up my iPhone now since I received it. I also took it to SHOT Show when I did that crazy sleep deprivation marathon tour. And I just had to hit, had to hit booth after booth after booth. I was using my phone to do my vlog, take photos for Instagram, and I was also using the SHOT Show app, which was just killing the life out of my battery. So I just plugged my phone into here, left it on a trickle charge so it stayed at 100% all the time, and I went for 48 hours like that, and it only used about half of the power bank, which was pretty cool. Um, let's talk about the charging ports on here. They're waterproof. They're IPX67. For folks that aren't familiar with that, that's huge in the uh, flashlight industry. It Basically, it's the water and dust proof rating. And I believe you can drop it up to three meters of water and it would still be waterproof. That's great for us outdoorsmen that like to come out here. It never rains in California, but once in a while, but if you're in a part of the world where you get a lot of rain, you get a lot of snow, you hunt, you fish, you're on the ranch, you get out of the truck, you drop it, goes in a mud puddle, hey, it's not gonna short out, it's gonna work. So, I also like the durability of the case. I love the rubber rounded corners. And I've been using uh, one of these for a long time now. OutXC sent me one a couple years ago a uh, 14,000 milliamp. I'll leave a link in the video description below on that one. I believe they still sell it. And I've been using that quite a bit, holding up great, charges great, and uh, charges all my devices. And um, this one does too, it does a great job. And the main reason I really like it is affordability. Hey, look, I work hard for my money. I know that you folks out there work hard for your money. What I'm gonna do is leave a link below um, maybe an Amazon link. And I don't get no affiliate money from that. I'm just showing you guys how affordable the power bank is if you want to get one. So, you folks want a rating. You know how I rate all my stuff. One to five. One being a dumper. Boom, it's got to go to the boneyard. Five, it's a grand slam. It's out of the park. It's the next best thing since hot buttered toast. Given everything that I said on this, I'd have to give it three and a half stars. And it's, and it's not because it doesn't work. It's because I'm just not a fanboy of the solar panel. I'm sorry. I'm not a fan of it. If it takes 40 to 100 hours to recharge it, just take that off. I'd rather use my solar panels that I have for backpacking, plug it in, leave it on my backpack. It's probably going to be charged in seven or eight hours. Easy peasy. It's done. Take that money, put it back into your R&D and back into the product or maybe even lower the cost even more. Hey, um, I don't know. But um, three and a half stars on the channel. I do recommend this. It works really well. It charges really well. And uh, the flashlight is just phenomenal on this. So that's it in a nutshell, folks. 
This is John with the Wingman 115 channel. I thank you so much for watching, and hey, I'll see you on the next video. Take care.